What is going on, you guys? It is Baxter. Yeah, that's hot. And we are back. We got some more One Piece. Episode 136. But, before we get into that, this isn't One Piece related. Um, so, there's this... Uh, I'm, I'm going to put in the description box before I even go any further, where the episode actually starts, so you don't have to listen to this. So, a few months ago, um, I was mentioning there was this store called Fire and Steel in um, Mississauga, which the people that are from, again, it's like Southern Ontario, Toronto area, you guys know exactly where Mississauga is. There's a store called Fire and Steel. They make cosplay, they hand make swords, they do all this shit, right? So, a few months ago, I got this bad boy. For, maybe for those of you who haven't seen it either. Zabuza's sword. This thing's carbon steel. Like, this thing... That thing will take your arm right off. It's not sharpened, but... Oof. God damn. So, I got this one a couple months ago. And... My, I got two buddies, and their birthdays are coming up in a month. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them something crazy from this fire and steel so, or, uh, store as well. So, I decided that I would get them these. I don't even have it ready. I didn't even expect them to do this. So, this right here, for those of you who don't know. Is Milnir. Thor's hammer. Like, I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. Because, I mean, I want it to be, like, legit for when he gets it. This is Milnir. Handcrafted. All the designs. Handmade. Everything. This thing weighs 1.6 kilograms. This is a legit hammer. This cost me 170 bucks. So, that's one of them. They're two brothers. They're days birthdays are like two days apart and then um shit should i even take it out ah, fuck it. this is just a oh, bitch to take in and out of the case but so my buddy is a pretty big gamer um he really his favorite game of all time is pokemon he loves pokemon right so I went to this uh, Fire and Steel store. Well, I went on the internet, searched up Pokemon. They have nothing in Pokemon. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, I know he's a Halo fan, but I know he's also a Zelda fan. So I was like, well, which franchise do you like better? He's like, Zelda. I'm like, boom. I was going to get him the Master Sword, but they were sold out. So I got this instead. Carbon Steel... Highland Shield. This thing's 3D. Like this thing, like it, it pops out. This is the this is the real deal right here. Got the chain, and then it comes with the handle that you could screw in the back, so you could actually make it like a legit shield. Look at that thing. That's beautiful. I'm not gonna put that back in the case right now. It's, that one was a bitch. Now. To the main event. While I was there, I was already dropping over 300 bucks at this place. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to spoil myself a little bit. So I decided to get myself another sword. And this bad boy right here. When I showed you guys Zabuza's sword when I first got it, and I said I had a sword, you guys are, and I showed it, you guys are like, hmm, like, it, it was kind of like random, right? You guys are expecting like a one piece sword or it, like something else. Zabuza's sword seems kind of random, right? So I decided to get myself another sword. I'll say this. I wanted Enma's sword, the one that Zoro has, Odin's old sword. I wanted that one. It was all sold out. Right, so, and then there was a couple other, like, Zoro swords from the pre-time skip, whatever, whatever. So, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go 
Bleach. Because I really like Bleach. Right. So, I decided to spoil myself with the sheath. I decided to get myself Zoraki Kenpachi's No Sarashi. Look at this thing. Like they got they got the hilt right. It's perfect. The strapping right, the sheath. This thing is so fucking sick. This thing is battle ready. This thing. This thing. That'll take your head. Notch slash. <laughs> no, but yeah, so I decided to get myself, ah, you know what, I'll get Zaraki Kenpachi's sword, because I think he's my favorite captain. Out of, the, out of the 13. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to go off at this store. I already got the Highland Shield. I got Milnir. And then I got Kenpachi's sword. I'm going to, yeah. I mean, after buying Zabuza's sword, I'm like, this is going to become an addiction. I already know it is. So, and the, and another reason why I got Kenpachi's because it was on sale. This thing, the Kenpachi's sword at this place was $99.99 plus tax. It came to like 113 bucks for that fucking sword. There was a couple other ones I wanted to get. They got like Cloud's Buster Sword. They got Cloud's Buster Sword from Advent Children that splits into the six different swords. That one's like 600 bucks, but it's unbelievable. So, just wanted to share some excitement with you guys. Now, to the subject at hand. One Piece. Episode 1006. Let's go. Uh, rooftop. Like, come on. I want to see it. Let's go. One piece, 1006. Three, two, one. Like, let's go, man. Sorry guys, just give me like one second here. Oh. Alright, there we go. Now I got styrofoam all over my room. Uh, I'll clean it up later. Oh, yeah, and I saw this post on Facebook. Um, I shared it on my page. Where is it? So, yeah, um, Ichiro Oda. I don't know if you follow Ichiro Oda, like, on Facebook. But, yeah, so it says right here. According to Luffy's voice actress. The One Piece anime will end in eight years. Posted on Oda's official page, Luffy's voice actress. If you guys didn't know this, there's an idea. We got about eight more years of One Piece. I'm going to be 40. For 21 years. Actually, no, 31 years. And if it does end in 2040, 31 fucking years. Ah, oh, amazing. It's so good.
It affects her soul. That wouldn't be good for Brooke, would it? Save your energy. Oh, I can't believe they actually thought they beat him. Kiku's arm got ripped off or sliced off. It's crazy, man. You did, some people don't realize how strong this guy is, man. This guy took on two Sulongs, two of the strongest Sulongs, and the Akuzia 9. He didn't even do too much damage to them, like if any at all. Got sliced up. And now he's taking it seriously. It's actually insane. Cuckoos are like, man, here we go. They're all about to get killed in this episode. Not killed, but they're all about to lose. Stance. You're going to have to use physical for it. <laughs> Yo, my dad just came in, gave me a Timmy's. <laughs> I'll finish this first.
That's easier. Is that people sitting by a fire? Oh, shit. How are you going to handle this? Yo, no. Substitution jutsu. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so random. A turtle. She's actually tough, eh? Like, I like Shinobu. She's sweet. No, 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 of course it is. Pretty fast for a turtle. Yeah. Can she use hockey? I'm assuming. No, man, I can't see this shit, man. I can't. I can't see that shit. Stop showing Odin. Yeah! Let's go! Don't touch my son! Did you see that animation? Yeah! Finally! Finally! You can trust her! Finally! Yeah! Yeah! You want to interfere? What, you think you can stop her? I can't sh see that shit anymore, man. I can't look at Odin anymore. Man. Uh, I can't. 
Uh, can't stop my emotions when fucking Odin's around. This guy needs to get worked already. I'm tired of this guy. I'm tired of Queen so much. Sorry, guys, my nose is like running. <laughs> yeah, chop him. You see that look on Chopper's face? You see that? I wouldn't be surprised if Chopper saves a lot of these people with the medicine after they become Onis. <laughs> Yo! Poison? Is that the only kick it? Cut your arm off. Cut your arm off. Cut it off. Is it going to be a chopper versus queen? Makes people suffer, yo. Yo! It's chopper's time to shine. Yo, chopper versus queen? Let's go. What the fuck? Chicken? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah!
<laughs> the huge introductions too. That's Nope. Oh, she got hit again. You're not dead yet, though. You just got hit. Oh, wait. No, she's just in shock. She's just in shock. This is time. Yo, Kaido is about to unleash. Oh, this is gonna sting! Not even sting, this is gonna hurt! Yeah. Yeah. We didn't come all the way here. They're about to get wiped right here. Here we go. Kaido. He's not messing around anymore. Here we go. And he's just saying, get off the rooftop. Because uh, they, like, don't give up. The way they are. Uh, You want my treasure? Go find. Look at that. Ah! Yeah. God fucking damn it. Oh, I thought it was about to end. Let's see an attack before we see it to be continued. Come on. Come on.
What a line. What a line. Yo, and here we go, man. Kaido, he's not fucking around. No more dragon. <laughs> this is it, man. He was not honorable for us. At all. <laughs> oh my god this is it man this is it <sighs> Kaido's not messing around anymore went back to his human form watch this I'm calling it next episode I'm calling it Kaido's wiping them all out. Not kill them? Maybe, like, like I, I don't know. Kaido's about to go off, and I don't think any of these guys have a chance. He's not messing around anymore. He's not drunk. He just got sliced up. Says that he, he likes samurai because they're so determined, and basically, like, I guess you could say gives them a good fight. Like, instead of him being, like, bored of fighting fucking pussies all the time you know Roger did it Roger did it well Whitebeard did it well man this is gonna hurt yep Always determined. They did it well. They really did it well. So, I'm assuming that means, like, having the determination. No one has the determination to kill Kaido. Like, obviously, no one wants to kill Kaido more than these guys. But, like, the determination aspect. Like, this is the goal. And this is what we have to do. In order to achieve that goal, no matter what. Our determination has to... Yeah, so I assume that's what Kaido means when he's saying that Whitebeard and Roger did it well. I thought a third name was going to come out. I thought some crazy third name was going to come out. I don't know. Man, right away I was thinking he was going to say like... Um, um, like rocks. What's his name? Rocks Z Zebek, the captain of the rocks pirates. I thought he was just going to say that name or like something nuts to make us like, you know, here we go, man. They're about to get wiped. Like just watch, man. I'm calling it. They're all getting wiped next episode. And then Luffy's going to have to come up and clean things up. But man, let's go. Anything with Odin in it. The stances, like... 
They know how to play with people's feelings, whether it's on the screen for five seconds or a minute. It's the whole Odin wouldn't be Odin if it wasn't boiled. The whole stance, the what are they called? The Sakur- Sakurai uh, petals, Sakura petals, rose petals, whatever the pink petals go across the screen. Finally, Yamato catches up to them. And now they can finally be convinced that she's on their side. Thank God. Like, it's about time. Let's go. Let's go. (laughs) Finally, we're here. Finally. He's not messing around. He's back in his human form. Oh, I can't wait. Let's go. Six days and what? Twelve hours we gotta wait. Fuck. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys soon. Peace.